prepare and lay out the tools necessary for disassembly as shown. Cover the piston with a rag and use sandpaper to remove carbon on the inside and the top surface of the protect ring and cylinder liner. Use a tap to remove the carbon from piston hanger screw holes. Remove the protector ring with the special tool. It can be removed easily if oil is squirted around the outside. Move the piston to bottom dead center. Remove the connecting bolts. Next, screw the piston lifting tool to the screw hole on top of the piston and remove the piston. When removing only the piston, there's no need to disconnect the big end of the connecting rod. After removing, cover the cylinder liner so that no foreign objects enter the engine. Gently lift the connecting rod and remove the snap ring on one side. Then remove the piston pin. Inspect the piston for carbon buildup and scratches and examine the piston ring movement. Remove carbon buildup on the combustion surface with sandpaper, but don't use sandpaper on any part of the piston body below the oil ring groove. Next, perform a color check on the combustion surface of the piston and the inside of the piston to see whether there are any cracks. Measure the following, the outer diameter of the piston, the piston pin boss, the small end bush of the connecting rod, and the piston pin. Prepare the 